Let's solve this absolute value equation and notice this is a positive number. So for this to be true, what is within these absolute value bars, in this case 5x minus 7 all over 2 must equal 4 or what is within these absolute value bars, 5x minus 7 over 2, that must equal negative 4. And I hope that makes sense to you. If this equals 4, the absolute value is of course 4. If this expression equals negative 4, the absolute value is 4 also. So now let's solve each of these linear equations. Notice, let's concentrate on the equation on the left. Notice it has a fraction, so our first step will be to multiply both sides by 2. So I'll write 2 times the left side, that's 5x minus 7 all over 2, that's equal to 2 times 4. Do not forget the 2 times 4, very, very important. So let's go ahead and multiply both sides as I've written down. Here we'll divide out the 2's and I have 5x minus 7 is equal to 2 times 4 or 8. Now if I add 7 to both sides, I'll have 5x is equal to 8 plus 7 or 15 and then divide both sides by 5, I'll have x is equal to 15 divided by 5 or 3. 3 is one solution to our original absolute value uh, equation. And now let's solve our other equation. We'll do the same thing. I'll multiply the left side by 2 to divide out the fraction, and I'll multiply the right side by 2. Don't forget the right side by 2 also. The left side, the 2's divide out. I have 5x minus 7 is equal to negative 8. If we add 7 to both sides, I'll have 5x is equal to negative 8 plus 7 or negative 1, and then finish by dividing both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 5, and we'll have that x is negative 1 fifth. There is our other solution. I'll let you check, but I have solutions of 3 and also negative one-fifth.